good morning students today in this class we discuss about specific resistance or resistivity we know that resistance is directly proportional to the length of the conductor that is r is proportional to l and resistance is inversely proportional to the area of cross section of the conductor that is r is inversely proportional to a from 1 and 2 we can write r is proportional to l by a to replace this proportional symbol by is equal to we have to write one constant that constant is rho rho is proportionality constant that is also called as specific resistance or resistivity so rho is equal to we get r a by l so specific resistance rho is equal to formula r a by l from that formula we can define specific resistance that is the resistance of the conductor of unit length and unit area of cross section is called specific resistance or resistivity now we write units from the formula only we write the si units so from this formula the si unit of resistance is ohm the si unit of area is meter square by the si unit of length is meter here 1 meter cancelled we get 1 1 meter only so finally we get the unit is ohm meter so the si unit of resistivity or specific resistance is ohm meter this specific resistance or resistivity depends on nature of the material and temperature only but it does not depends on length and area of cross section that is a important point specific resistance depends on nature of the material and temperature it does not depends on length and area of cross section of the conductor but resistance depends on all these four factors we have to note that point now we go to conductivity conductivity is reciprocal of the resistivity reciprocal means inverse reverse the reciprocal of resistivity is called conductivity conductivity is denoted by sigma so formula sigma is equal to 1 by rho the unit of conductivity is mohm meter inverse mohm meter inverse when we inverse the unit of resistivity we get mohm meter inverse when we inverse ohm ohm when we inverse that ohm we get mohm in reverse direction the inverse of meter is meter inverse so finally the si unit of conductivity is mohm meter inverse okay the materials the metals which have lower resistivity behave as good conductors the metals which have lower resistivity behave as good conductors suppose if we take silver the resistivity of silver is 1.59 into 10 to the power of minus 8 ohm meter <coughs> that value is very very small that's why that silver behave as good conductor the resistivity of copper is 1.68 into 10 to the power of minus 8 ohm meter that is also very very small that's why copper also behave as good conductor okay but here silver is costly metal than copper that's why we frequently use as copper as good 
conductor when compared to silver this is about specific resistance or resistivity